Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Samuel Vidal and I will be creating this album cover um, Character Creator 3 and I already got it loaded up and running and first of all um, I'm going to be using this model um, this is the one that when you start the program is the one that pops up by default She's the CC3 plus neutral female. Okay, so first I'm just gonna to have her look to the front, and I'm going to zoom in. First thing I want to do is change her eye colors, and to do that, I will go to the content panel here and on base tab under eyeball I'm gonna look for the green eye here the this will be I07 and I'm gonna click and I can either replace the eye or just the material I'll I'll do replace for now okay now I'm just gonna add hair and again content panel on the hair tab hair group hair folder legacy and here we're gonna see these um hair props that we got here these are the one that came within the program when you first buy the program these other folders here, you have to buy them separately. See. So I'm gonna be using Swam, which is one of my favorite um, hair props that I've seen so far. And I'm gonna use Hope Hair. It takes a while. Okay, there we go. And I'm I'm adding hair because if you look at the photo here, you see some strings here. And I mean, it's not really that necessary that if you, if you don't want to put hair, that's fine. It's just still will look, you know, good. But I rather do do that. Um, so now let me just push this. Oh, it doesn't push there anymore. That's fine. Um, I'm going to select the orbit here. Oh, you can press C. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate or pivot the. I would say the model, but it's not really the model that's that's pivoting. I think it's more the the camera on it because I think for the model will be this one. See, no, actually this one. See, this one will rotate the the model. You know, if I were to let me see if I'm select no, because I got her eyes selected. So hold on. If I were to select her body. And now I decide to rotate. See, she will be rotating. But with the orbit, you're more rotating like the view. See, probably, probably ha that has to be the, the camera. See, so I'm gonna have to put it again front. So, anyway, um. What what I want to do is put the camera there so she will look like she is looking down. See, not not too much. It's it's way too much. Okay. And now with the select tool, 
I'm going to right click there on the eyeball and select the base arm. And now here, let me open a little bit this tab. We'll expand it. And on the modify panel, the, on morphs, see, I can still not see. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna look for the option. Once you hit the, the morphs option here, we're gonna look the sub options here for the actor actor parts then we are going to select this the this one the cc base i see and in there we're gonna look for eyeball rotate up okay so i want to rotate these eyes up so she now look like she's looking towards me so let's rotate she's like even though she kind of now looking at me a little bit but i think she's way i'm gonna have to fix her yeah there that's perfect and now she her eyes they 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 look like they are looking towards me so let me put this back again so I can have some so I think um this is it as far as you know preparing the model and now I'm going to render it but I'm going to render it here on in the CC3 and for that i'm going to select over here on the render tab here render image and then you see that another tab here pops up and the first thing i want to look for is the format whether i want the jpeg or any other formats here i'm gonna select the png the output size, which is the viewport resolution, um, you know, what's the size that you want to render the the image. Sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna select the HD 1080p. See. Then on the render quality, I'm going to check the final render, check super sampling, and select the high 3x3. And then that will be it. And now I'm going to position her face, like zoom her in, so she feels the entire um, render picture here so she can cover everything with her face and then I select again this uh, this is actually this is the tool the zoom is selected by you can press the Z on the keyboard and just a little bit more Oh my god, it went too far. Oh my god. Just that uh, I want to display the string of hair too. But I don't want to continue wasting time on this. So, you know, this will do for this purpose. This will do. So I guess this is it. So the only thing left for me to do now is once I got a center there, which, you know, covers it, everything here, then I'm going to export this render. And the color the render. And 
there we have it we have the exporting of the render here in PNG okay so now for me to do the other step which is um, convert that um, render into a black and white photo I'm gonna have to use a photo editor um, program and the one that I'm using is um, the paint shop pro 2020 but this is something you can do in any photo editor software like gimp or, or adobe photoshop or any other photo editor so i'm just gonna go real quick here and open it okay and I'm gonna open that image here, GE render. That's the one that I just did now. First of all, what I'm going to do is duplicate this one, okay? Because this top one is the one that I'm going to convert to black and white. But then the bottom one is the one where I'm going to have the eyes and then I will erase it from the top just to make it look like in the original here, you know, everything's black and white except for her eyes. So I'm going to go here on this image adjust. Actually, it's the, the adjust tab here. And under Smart Photo Fix, let's see. I'm going to select a a presetting here already. I think it was number two on this one. Yeah, I think this one. That presetting here, and then the on the focus here selection. I'm gonna do a sharper. Doesn't go sharper than that. And obviously on the saturation, I'm gonna go all the way down, see? To make it a black and white mm, photo. Do I like this? Should I give it a little bit black here, maybe? Eh. Okay, that looks good, I guess. Okay. Now I'm going to hide this layer and I'm going to come here and I want to saturate her eyes here. I, I'm not going to care what her skin is going to look like. All I want to saturate a little bit is her eyes here. So I'm going to go to the adjust tab here and under hue saturation um, I'm going to select this one, the hue saturation lightness and you see this is pretty much the color of her eyes that I'm looking if you compare here see I'm sorry this one see Even though her skin now looks all red, but I don't care about her skin. I care about the eyes. And then over here, I'm sorry. This 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 option here is the same one. The smart photo fix is the same one that I use here. See. And <clears throat> just gonna. Uh, Tiny bit of saturation in there. Okay. Now we're gonna bring back again the top one here, the copy with the raster and the black and white. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the eraser tool, and then I'm just gonna use one of these um 
brush tip the plus round 25 that, that should be yeah I think this one will work and now I'm gonna start erasing see I'm trying to do this quickly so you don't get bored while I do this it's just simply to show you to you the process but it's this is nothing you know anyone can do this I mean if you know how to how to use a photo editor see this is all you gotta do of course on the original one that I did I, I went more you know I took my time because I mean I wasn't doing a video out of it, but see. And then, if you want to check, all you have to do is hide the bottom one, and then now, see, you can see the areas that you still need to erase, and you can kind of like clean it up a little bit. And yeah, see. See, this area that I left because I didn't realize, I mean, because in here, see, it looks black already, so I didn't, I didn't know exactly. I go a little bit and clean up. Ah, I went over, sorry. I want to clean up. Okay. Okay, now all I got to do when I'm done here is just simply add a text. Probably the title of what the song is supposed to be called. Uh oh. I don't see. Why it doesn't show here because um the text i put it under this one and that's wrong i should go on top of this one mm, very nice there we go and for me to center those text i gotta do is um, go to object align and horizontal center and there we have it I mean compared to the other one I was more detailed with this one than this one but you know you get the point where how you can do something similar using the character creator 3 and a photo editor so this is it thank you for watching and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe and see you next time